Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Elizabeth. I work in mental health research, uh, but sometimes I work in global health research. Uh, so this video is a continuation of the case control matching video I did almost a year ago. And my apologies for getting this video out. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say is my apologies. Um, so uh, the purpose of this video is uh, to answer some of the questions you guys had in the previous one. Um, there were some common questions and I thought it'd be best to just show you in the video format um, for people who have different learning styles. So and this is more a visual aid to the stuff I, I wrote down in the, the comment section. Okay, so we're working with the same exact data that we were using last time. So the client ID, age, treatment modality, gender, and then CBCL internalizing and externalizing fake scores. And I'm just showing you that the values are also all the same as the previous one as well. Um, and then this is just to kind of jog your memory so that when I input the values into the case control matching section of SPSS, um, you know what uh, the values are. So go down to case control matching. I've already inputted some of these values. So one of the questions uh, was, what if um, I want to change the match tolerance of um, a value, let's say age? So normally string or categorical variables, you wouldn't match strings on here, but categorical variables, they're zero because you want an exact match, right? And it's either zero, one, or whatever it may be. So that's always zero. But for continuous variables like age, that may have um, be whole numbers, so for example, 10, 5, 6, whatever, or maybe have decimals, so like close to the closest tenth or closest hundredth, what, what have you. It, it can't, it doesn't even have to be age, it could be like uh, volume and liters or like 10.3 liters, whatever it is. So someone asked, what if you don't want an exact match, but you want it somehow relatively close? So you would uh, just change the the number under match tolerance. So you could change it to one, or for example, in the instance of age, um, if you change it to one, then it's matching it um, plus or minus one year. Uh, so for example, if the age is 12, it could match it with, some, uh, with uh, 11 or 13, for instance. And then if you change the match tolerance to two, it matched to... Um, and we're keeping 12, right? It, or it could match to 13 or 14, or it could match to 11 or 10, right? So that's how that works. Or even 0.5, um, if you want it to, to match to the closest 0.5, and you, if you want it to be really specific, you could do that as well. Um, but it will change the number of matches that are available to you. Um, I think it may increase it just because of um, that large latitude. Another question was, what if you wanted more um, cases in your con uh, controller um, treatment group, wh whatever have you, right? So um, somebody commented, and I forget the person's name, but I'll put it up on the screen, that you would just uh, enter a space and then put up another name under MASH ID. So uh, here I have matches one. And clearly, none of these things are actually like original, right? But matches one and matches two, and that's how you would do that. So if you wanted more case IDs or more participants in like one pool or versus another, let's say you wanted three, right? You put match one, match two, match three. Um, but I've just put match two for the purposes of showing you for this video. Um, and I entered uh, without replacement, um, just to show you how that would look like. So, uh, we're gonna go back to the main um, data set that we were working with. And if you look at one row, right? Uh, so not row number one, but in row number two, you'll see that um, 102, sorry, 1002 um, is matched with, uh, Client 1054 and client 1026. Um, so notice that it pulled up multiple matches, right? It pulled up two matches because we wanted to based on the the IDs or the the number of variables that we wanted. So um, 
Note that the age is five, the treatment modalities are therapy, and the gender is female. So we're going to go down to 1026 and 1024 um, just to see if they're the exact same. So as you can see, 1026, age is the same, gender is the same, but the treatment modality is different. And then if we go down to 1054, age is the same, it's five. Um, the gender is the same, but the treatment modality is different. And if you look um, in the output output table, um, you'll see that um, 1054 and 1026 are matched at the top, and their um, their control or um, treatment group is is the matches with 1002. Um, and if you look under match one, you'll see that the the numbers are consistent or the same for each of the matches. So for example, um, that 1002 piece, those numbers are exactly the same. There aren't a lot of matches, exact matches, um, exact two or duplicate matches. Um, so uh, 42 and 43, row 42 and 43, they only have one match instead of two. So I'm just showing you that there. Okay. So I'm going to delete these and um, the next is going to or uh, the next portion is going to show what um, with replacement and what were that replacement looks like. So I'm going to um, delete matches too and then go to options and then click with replacement and then click continue and what's that what that's going to do? Um, for every match, it's going to offer a replacement match for it. So if you wanted more um, participants in a control or treatment group, you would you could do one of two options. You could input more names for the match ID variables, or you could just enter with replacement so that it pulls up replacements for a match. Okay. Um, and I'm naming the data set the same thing. There's no point um, changing the, the name. Okay. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to testing. And okay. And then sort these in uh, ascending or sorry, descending order. Um, so sorting the, it by descending order, you can see that the values are actually exactly exactly the same in that testing column. So um, if you look at 1067 um, and 1016, their age is exactly the same. Their treatment modality is exactly the same and their age is exactly the same. Oh, sorry, age, treatment, modality, and gender is exactly the same. And their matches is 1004 and then 1028. Um, so those are replacement uh, matches for that. So if, if you wanted to use 1067 um, for 10, 1004, um, but the participant's information wasn't complete or something or other happened, you could use 1016 or 1028 depending on um, the treatment modality they're in. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope it has been helpful. I hope it answered some of the questions that you had in the previous one. Um, I can't make any promises for consistency <laughs> or frequency of videos, but um, I've pre-shot some stuff, I've pre-written some content, and hopefully it will be more regular. Um, all right, so thank you. If you have any uh, questions, please uh, put them in the description box.